Hey, what's up guys? Team Demise Andy here, and today I got something a little bit different for you. Um, I really do think y'all are going to enjoy this. It's uh, Digimon Lynx, and this is not my actual account. This is my... Uh, I don't have enough room. Uh, this is my account on my computer, which you can get on PC. Uh, I'll leave links to the stuff you need for that down below. But uh, actually, I'll probably just do a whole nother video on that. <laughs> it's that it's a little bit complicated. I mean, it's not really. It's just a few steps you gotta take. But um, I'm gonna run through a basic introduction on how every minor thing works. So this will be, should be a fun video. I'll catch you guys in the video. You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for. Alright guys, so here we go. Um, the first thing we need to talk about is we need to talk about missions. Now, missions are something you're going to have to do in this game to get, like, better stuff. Uh, a lot of games, you know, they don't really, like, you know, the missions aren't really good. And you, you get stuff from them, but you don't get good stuff. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say this game is completely different. Uh, this game is 110% not pay to win. Like, it literally, you can only get two big things from buying $80 worth of stuff in this game, so it is not pay to win at all. <laughs> but, uh, your first, well, your first time's kind of pay to win. It's like $16 and you get a free plus one mega and a hundred tokens or, uh, digi stones or whatever. But that's about it. So basically, if you can do this, one of these missions, you need to get them done as soon as you can. Because, like, just, like, even the, like, stuff even this small is, like, really good and it'll help late game. So that's how you see your missions, alright? The next thing is your presence. Every time you do a mission, it doesn't get automatically deposited, so don't think you get cheated. You have to go to present. And, like I said, the game will teach you most of this stuff. But just in case you skip through it like I did on my first run... This will help a lot. Um, the next thing is training. <clears throat> now, training isn't like really that great right now because it's not fully done. But the stuff you can do is pretty cool. Like the chips aren't in, but like I'll go ahead and raise up this Ikakumon. Uh, so you hit OK and then you go into it and you can like. However many food you want to give them, you can just sit there and hold it, or you can keep clicking, you know, whatever. Okay, maybe I wasn't clicking. Oh, there we go, yeah. <laughs> so you can give them however many you want, and then give it to them, and then go home. Alright, so the next thing... Oh, well, yeah, he says leveled up. And my game's running a little slow right now because Bandicam, for some reason, doesn't want to work well with blue stacks. So, not positive. <laughs> but it normally doesn't lag at all. Uh, there we go. Uh, the next thing is exchange. You It'll teach you everything you need to know about exchange in the actual thing, so you don't need to worry about that now until you start going through your advent quest and stuff like that. Uh, to Digivolve a Digimon, this is another base thing. The Digimon has to be fully maxed out. So you see how these three say they can Digivolve? It's because they are max level. These two are not max level, so they can't. Now on top of that, I'll go ahead and use Tentamon. <clears throat> on top of that, you also have to have the certain stuff, which you get from like doing your quests and stuff. So I could take him into Kabuterimon. Uh, ooh, I hit, never mind, I hit that, that's what that was. Um, Kabuterimon, Sunflowermon, what is going on? Oh, it's because, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, Sunflowermon. Okay, and Stingmon. Oh, I could also go Wasmon too if I wanted, but I don't really want to do that. Uh, we're gonna go Kabuterimon. So, confirm, yes, Digivolve him into Kabuterimon. And here we go. So, it's going to Digivolve him, and that's going to be a it's pretty cool little synchro. Like, you can skip it, but I really like watching them. They actually put a lot of effort in this game, and, like, I feel like nobody's really done a good tutorial on this. And if, if my phone wasn't a piece of shit, you know, I would be doing videos of my actual account. But we're probably going to play on here on this one too just to see what I can get. And uh, at the end of this video I'm going to do a, 
uh, 10 times Digistone Awakening. So I feel like that's going to be pretty fun. Now keep in mind, I literally just played until like I got to 200 and it literally took me like 30 minutes. So you're going to get guaranteed like at least one free Digistone set to get a, a, a confirmed plus, or not a confirmed plus one, but a confirmed Mega. Uh, you click on a building, I just like, did that without even thinking. You click on a building, or in this case, your um, food, your meat pile, and hit uh, upgrade, and it'll upgrade it. I do recommend doing this with your um, your restaurant, definitely. Uh, your meat field, your house at a certain point, and your warehouse. Uh, I wouldn't worry about exchange or any of those, like the lab. I wouldn't worry about those. Until maybe late game when you've got excess points, but definitely I would at least get your meat filled up to level 7. I would get your um, warehouse to level 8 and get your uh, restaurant to level 6. That's kind of base. Now your house, you, you only really need to get to like level 3, that way you can have a, more Digimon. But other than that, that's that's base on that. So let's go back down here to the Digivice really fast and hit on Formation. Now, Formation is a weird thing on this game because normally you start off with one team, but this one lets you, it, it allows you to have three, which I don't know if it will because I don't have a lot of Digimon, but it might. So, uh, my party one, as you can see, is this. I didn't set this, it's, or I did set this, but it was Tenemon. I use co-op, that's another thing we're going to talk about. This is my party three, and then this is my party two, which you can see not much changes because I, I just started the game. So the next thing we're going to do is when something's done constructing, we can go ahead and just click on it and it'll, you know, be constructed, which I could upgrade it again if I wanted to, but I'm not going to right now. Uh, you go down here to facilities to... Uh, you got your warehouse where you can store everything. You've got your layout, which the layout system is really nice, other than the fact that you can't turn buildings around. So what I did with my main account is I lined up all the buildings along this side, put a sidewalk going down through here, and then right here I had like my uh, uh, lab and my meat field. And then down here I just had decoration stuff. So it doesn't really matter, but you know, that's how that works, if you're wondering. Uh, you can go to the shop, and I don't think there's anything I need to get, but I might. Not positive, though. Okay, so yeah, I did need to get the dojo. Alright, here we go. I'll go ahead and get that, and, you know, click on that. And as you can see down here, it says decor, so you can get decorative stuff. And that's what I did down here on my main island. Uh, if you're wondering, my main team, I, I, I'm sure nobody really cares, but my actual team is, uh... Piedmon, Seraphimon plus one, and Wargreymon at the moment, but if I can move this, okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> it's about to be Lilithmon instead of Wargreymon. Wargreymon's really good in this game, but I just got given them, so I really would, I would prefer to, you know, have my own team. But anyway, back to this stuff. Um, this right here is the Coliseum. It's not currently up. Which sucks. Yeah, you know, well, it says you gotta be, you gotta clear level 8, but it's actually still not up. Uh, I guess they're working on it. Most people said it would be out by late this week. I, I don't know. Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't keep tabs on it. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get on into this part. Explore. I'm going to explain all of these a little bit to you because these weren't here when I got here and I've cleared every one of them on my, my main account. So the first thing we need to talk about is we need to scroll down here. It won't let me scroll. Okay, so that's what it is. I can't scroll. Oh. Oh, there's a new advent quest. I need to do that one. Hmm. Okay, well, I've got to do that one on my main account. But, uh, like advent quest. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I, do, I don't need to know how to do these. Come on now. Okay, I need to go back. By the way, don't skip anything on this, because, you know, if you're watching this tutorial, you've clearly already skipped everything. So, let's go back into this, and boom. Okay. So, the Advent Beginnings is basically where you can go, uh, now this is a new one that just happened, so you go into it. Oh wait, no, that was Advent Quest intro, never mind. <laughs> I've already did that. So, Advent Beginnings is something you'll get, which is just released in the game with the newest update, uh, two days ago, I think, uh, where you can get Hercules Kabuterimon Fragments, Vikemon Fragments, and uh, Seraphimon, and I don't remember the last one, I think it's Phoenixmon. 
But anyway, you can get those for your Mega Evolutions. Like I said, the Digivolves, they have to be max level, and you have to have certain things that require it. Now, Megas are the only ones that require certain data fragments, which is cool, but then again, it's just like so hard to get a Mega, which is why they're doing these, because it makes it easier. Now, the Advent Quest intro is something I definitely would recommend doing as fast as possible, because you get a free War Greymon, <laughs> well, you don't get a free War Greymon, you get free War Greymon fragments, free Metal Garurumon fragments, and three, uh, no, uh, free Leomon, I forgot, is it Kaiser Leomon? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Either way, it's really good and really busted. But, oh, the thing just kicked on. That's going to make the audio bad. I'll try to talk over it. Okay, so the Advent Quest is another thing that's new. I would recommend doing that. Uh, it, it just gave me a free Edamon, which I'll click on it really fast. And see if it's... Oh, no. Okay, so, no, this is uh, the intro. I don't want the intro. I guess I clicked on the wrong one again. Hold on. I use my finger. This app gets really weird with a mouse. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, oh, I hit something again. Okay, there we go. So the Advent Quest right now gives you Metal Edamon. And I clicked on this. Okay, go back. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. It's being a little buggy. Okay. Oh, no, I gotta listen to her talk now. It's the worst part about going through this and playing it already, because now I gotta set through everything all over again. And like I said, we will we'll probably definitely do a series on this and see how good I can get just on this. But uh, for this video, I just wanted to do a base introduction of the game and like tell people why this game is really good and people need to like play it. Not only except for besides like I said the first purchase, it's not pay to win at all. This game is really fun. I literally like got into it and went. Uh, the only downside is it's not fully out yet, so it's <laughs> give or take, you know. Uh, the next thing are the normal quests. These are your base quest line, and there's 19 uh, servers, and uh, overall I think 100, 100 uh, quests to do. So uh, it's it's really <sighs> you get grinding in this. It goes fast. What I'm gonna say right now though is for these normal quests, do co-op everything. It takes a little bit longer, but instead of getting two fragments, you get ten. Which is broken, and like, you don't know, like, I, okay, so I went through the game, and I only got to get two, uh, you know, uh, hatch tens. Which give you a guaranteed mega. I only got to do two of those during the whole game. My cousin, he played through and did co-op on most things, not even everything, just a few, like, half of them, if that, and he got four. So, he doubled me up. But you should easily be able to get six or seven out of that. So definitely do co-op on those. And then your daily quest, you go through and you can get, uh, like I said, you can get the stuff for um, digivolving your Digimon into Megas and Ultimates and all that. It's it's more oriented based for like when you get actually a high rank Digimon because it's harder to do with like a low team because they are strong. But anyway, we're going to hop out of that and we're going to check out one of the last functions, which is the capture. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the chat is something else, but it's self-explanatory. I don't ever use it, honestly. I just get on the Discord for the server, which you can easily find by looking up uh, Digimon links, Reddit, or whatever, and it has it on the Reddit. Uh, okay, so anyway, as you can see, I have 209, and uh, release anniversary Megafest capture. Now, this is only until 1030, so there's only 15 days left on this. Well... 14 after this video goes up but uh this is the one this is probably the best one right now but now this next one right here this leader skill capture it's still really good because like my digimon have kind of garbage legacy skills so to get like a good one you need to get these but like i said okay i'm gonna say this i don't know if i've said this save your <laughs> digi stones until you have 200 to buy anything I don't care what it is, because it is going to be garbage <laughs> unless you ain't. I, I, you know, tested my luck like a moron too many times and wasted too many coins. But, uh, yeah, that's that. And then there's the rare captures, which I don't recommend doing, but... And when this is gone, it's probably going to be this is what you got to do. 
Uh, and then there's the link captures to get your in training. Well, I don't know why they call it in training, in training too. I always thought it was fresh and in training. But either way, you get those here. That way you can put in your garden and grow them up and make your own Digimon from start. But, uh, that's that. So let's go ahead and get into the fun part. Let's see what I can get with these 10 Digimon captures. I'm probably going to get Platinum Numamon, but hopefully not. Okay, so let's see here. Okay. There we go. Alright. Come on, boy. Okay, so Gobblemon. That's not bad. Gobblemon. Uh, these ain't looking good. Bergemon. Still no ultimates. I'm guaranteed a Mega. Oh, God. This, is, this ain't looking good for the home team. Oh. Oh. I got it. Oh, dude, that's busted. Two Megas? I got Meta... Oh, Metal Edamon and... Oh, dude, that was busted. That's gotta be the best fucking pool in the history of this game. And then you see that one's got a leader skill on it, so that's really good. Dude, that was broken. That was honestly broken. Like I've said, me, I've never gotten two Megas in those. Ever. That was so good. Uh, I'm, I see I can check all this stuff, but I don't want to really fast. I've got to see if this Omnimon is a plus, if he's plus two or three or four, even plus one, hell, I'll be happier than all hell. Um, so, oh, th this is a perfect time. There's numerous different ways to check and see what Digimon you have in your team, but this is the one I find the easiest. Just go to training and then Digimon list. It's simple, self-explanatory. Nope, he's not a plus one or anything, but that was a hell of a fucking thing. This one has a leader skill on it, so that's really good. And then, you know, Metal Edamon's not good, but... Uh, 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 this is the busted part. Yeah, I don't care. Come on, this video's running long. Alright, here we go. Click on him. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is... Did I say Omnimon? <laughs> Rip. I just realized that's Omegamon. Good to know. Uh, massive magical water damage to a single enemy. See, that's not that great. Nano... <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Moderate physical thunder damage. To, so his stuff ain't that great. Whew. But it's still good to have, because this, this literally will, this will put you through the whole first part of the game, once you get your War Greymon given to you. Anyway, there's not too much more to talk about. I mean, everything is over here. You know, you can change your profile stuff down here, get your friend ID. That's really good. Um, everything you've seen is basically here. Here's the shop. Like I said, it's not pay to win at all, so there's no point in buying stuff except for your first time. Uh, yeah, other than that, I think everything's good. Alright guys, let me go ahead and wrap this up. This was, I guess, episode zero, because episode one is going to be us going into battle, fighting stuff, clearing through the game, stuff like that. I'll probably throw some NCS behind that, and it'll be fun, but I will talk on it too, because... I know a lot of people would prefer me giving commentary over just straight music. So yeah, if you like the video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.